Hello everyone, now we are going to solve the questions based on the original vibration. A uniform disc of radius 5 cm and mass 200 gram is fixed at its center to the metal wire. Okay. At the other end of which is fixed to a clamp, the disc is rotated about the wire to an angle and is released. Okay. If the disc make an oscillation with a time period of 0 0.20 seconds, 0 0.20 seconds, then the torsional stiffness of the wire is kilogram meter square per centimeter uh, second square inch. We have to calculate the torsional stiffness. What is given? The stiffness of the wire is given and we are going to rotate this disc to an angle. Let us assume that we are going to be rotated the disc by small angular displacement theta either you directly apply the formula that we have discussed in the topic or you just have to make the equation if you are able to if you are able to write down the equations of any system any mechanical system that means you are able to understand the situations whatever be the level of questions you can solve if you know how to write down the equations of the system because the questions may be complicated at any level. So sometimes the direct formula may not work. So if you are able to write down the equations, you will be able to solve the questions, whatever be the level of the question. So that's why I'm here writing the equations. Because the disk is going to be rotated to an angle theta. So there will be a inertial torque according to De Lambert principle, that is type theta double to. Similarly, there will be a stiffness of the wire is ST, so that means there will be a torque of the stiff regarding stiffness that would be ST theta. So if you write down the equations, it would be I theta double load, I theta double load plus ST theta. Since it is a torsional stiffness, okay, this, this is torsional stiffness is equal to zero. So when you see this, it would be theta double dot plus st upon i theta is equal to zero. However, you can learn the direct formula that we have discussed in the theoretical portion. But I am here discussing again how to write down the equations. Okay. Whenever there is an angular displacement, there will be a torque we are going to consider. Okay. That's why this is i. And what is i? Is it, is, is, it is equal to moment of inertia and i is equal to m r square by 2 for, for the disk. For the ring, it would be m r square, but for the disk, it is m r square by 2. So, what is the value of m that is in, in gram? It is given, but we have to convert it into kilogram. That means 0 0.2. This would be 0 0.2. And what is the value of radius that is centimeter is 0 0.05 meter square upon 2. So when you solve this, you will get the value of moment of inertia, mass moment of inertia, and it would be 2.5, 2.5 multiplied times to the power minus 4 kilogram into kilogram into meter square. Okay. Be careful about calculations because in the gate examinations, you are not going to solve the questions on scientific calculators. They will provide you the virtual calculator. So you must have to be practice a lot of questions. Do the practice with the virtual calculator. So there will not be any panic condition in the examinations. Okay. Otherwise, most of the questions, most of the students consume times in the calculations only. So that would be st upon i. What is the st that is we have to calculate it? We have to calculate this original stiffness. Okay. So that is 2.5 multiplied times to the power minus 4. Now, what is omega n? In the question, omega n is not given, but the time period of oscillation is given. Okay. So you know very well that if the time period of oscillation is t is equal to that would be 2 pi upon omega n. Okay. So we just have to put the value that is 0 0.20 2 pi upon omega n. So from here we can calculate the value of so natural frequency vibrations that would come out to be 31.41. 31.41 and the unit is radian per second. So this is 
is omega n and we just have to put this value omega n. So you will get 31.41 is equal to under root of st upon 2.5 multiplied 10 to the power minus 4. Okay. So when you solve this, we get the final answer that is asking in the question. And it would come out to be st is equal to 0 0.246. So the final answer is ST is equal to 0 0.246 kilogram meter square upon feet second square. Okay. So I hope you will understand this whole solutions. Okay. So thank you.